Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own.
need a hanky. Gotta admit, never expected this of you. You humans have hmm, unusual tastes. How did you fare on Bald Mountain? Need to ask? You're a sage. I ask as a courtesy. A concept you clearly forgot when you left without uttering a word. Siri was in a hurry. I know, so she wrote in her letter. But that is not my concern. You eliminated Imlareth adeptly. So adeptly you might say you inspired me. Meaning? The loss of one of his great generals has weakened Eredin significantly. Two others remain. How do we get rid of them? Caranthia is a loyalist, but Gels, that is another story. He was a devoted follower of our former king. And as it happens, Eredin poisoned our beloved ruler. How do you know? Or are you bluffing? Eredin made sure very few individuals knew of his betrayal. Most are now dead. Didn't answer my question. How matters not. What matters is, I know. And I have an idea how to use this knowledge. Haven't mentioned killing Gels. Such drastic means are not always necessary. So you probably plan to offer him a deal. Brilliant deduction. Bravo. Fine. So what do you propose? Why, to bring Gels here? Show him the truth of what happened. Fabulous plan, if we only knew where to find him. We do. In the land of the ML. Land of the NL? You don't recall. After all, you did travel with Eredin for some time. The land of the Elder Folk. The world where we arrived centuries ago. A world that is now our home. The Red Riders come from there. And it is there where we will find Gels. Think you're forgetting something. You and Ciri might know how to travel between worlds. But me? Not so much. You clearly know there are many other worlds apart from the one where we now stand. They're linked by passages, hidden gateways that afford travel from one world to another. Of course, few know of these gateways. Even fewer can locate them. Elven sages, for example? For example. One such passage will open soon near where we are, fortuitously enough. Between this noble edifice and the butcher's yard. That's our chance. Shall we go? Let's go. I know this house. Supposed to drive a godling from here. Supposed to? Decided it was harmless. Passages here, past this wall. Yes? This is the place. Once we enter, there'll be no returning until we reach Gels. Ready? Yes, let's go. Remember, wherever you land, search for a place that looks like this one. We shall meet sooner or later. Mean we'll be separated? It's possible. I lack your ward's talent. Zirel is the lady of time and space. I merely know how to use this arcane knowledge to a limited degree. It's time.
Welcome to the Diderwet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Come, you must go. What is this place? A very old world, thoroughly raped and destroyed. Anything live here? Mainly desert creatures, able to survive months on end without water. Oh, and large sand crabs beneath the surface. We must be careful they don't sense us. And before? Were there any people? Or elves? Do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? So what did live here? Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of a sea. Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. Trying to say that... That there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so, in fact, than you humans. But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world. To the last drop. Ah, the portal. Looks more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? For it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful. Just keep coming. As soon as the portal opens, jump in after three, two, one. What a relief. suffocated.
avoid those clouds, or bolt through them. Have a look.
dent if I don't hide somewhere. And I gotta find that next passage quick. If I can just find cover along the way, I should make it to the passage. a certain grouchy oven sage. Snow's up to the rooftops. Wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing.
took you a while. Did you run into trouble? Uh, no. Just taking in the sights. What is this place? Feels like I've been here before. You have. You fought Eridan's projection here. Before that, Ciri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Ciri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. Did Aridan start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? <sighs> what would it have changed? Where are we? World of the NL? No. This is Ted Dera, the time of the end. The world destroyed by the White Frost. Alas, this awaits us all, though at differing stages of our existence. So calm when you say that. Eridan succumbed to his knowledge of the Apocalypse. Fear rules him now. I'll not commit the same error. Care to clarify? Not here. Not now. Light on the peak. Was that you? I thought it might aid your passage. After all, that is what lighthouses do. Show the way. I was hoping we wouldn't get separated. I warned you it could happen. Where'd your journey take you? Through a world whose son had just died. I barely reached the next passage in time. After Gels is proving quite a trek, but I still don't know why he's so important. Eredin differs from the king he killed. Power for its own sake interests him. He has little patience for bureaucracy. He spends most of his time atop his steed, leading the Red Riders. So what does he need in the capital? A good viceroy. Gels is an excellent administrator and an even better plotter. He's the most dangerous individual amongst the NL. He got any weaknesses? Yes. He's righteous. Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. When will it open? Shortly. of Awakening, formerly the Moon Palace, Gel's headquarters. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate it. Elven architecture is a bit more sophisticated than yours. No reason to tarry. Come. Oh, who's this? And why are they here? I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. Be a dear and leave us alone. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? 
Crivana, Spain, at Coleman Maca and the Witcher of Rivia. Catman. Do you like my new model? It's something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Crivan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Didn't come here for tea. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here. Quite the surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. No, but honesty is not a facet of your species. So quit spewing bile, won't gain you anything. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me. So I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. You've been a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Better believe it. This way, please. Witcher Geralt. A true man of action. Might I know where we're going? To the world of the Enshe. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Cyril. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. 
in your dream. Ah, yes. The Oneromancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? And proclaim Avalach our new king? You'll do what you want. If you decide to continue serving the Regicide, so be it. Wouldn't even be surprised. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not? Face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tin Aliar will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalarch knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let Gales go too easily. Can never be too careful. Agreed. Yet I do believe Gales will keep his word. Withhold support from Eredin. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Hundvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses of the lodge, and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Couldn't help it. I'm curious about this little matter you have to resolve. When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Love to accompany you, but I gotta do something first. In that case, I'll await you there. The market in Gildorf.
much for the no. message. What, my peach? Yes, Geralt? You, uh, holding up all right? Uh, it'll be a hard slog for everyone. You know what I mean. What am I supposed to say? I mean, I knew you and Yennefer. You'd end up back together. It was a lost cause. Always. I guess so. I just don't want you to... Can we not dwell on it? I need to focus on other things now. Right. Understood. Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. I think it's a soldier. We'll know soon enough. Come with me. I know a place where the walls don't have ears. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Place is pretty grim. True. It looks like a vampire's hideout. Which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here. Give me the figurine and stand back. Let's try to decompress this one. Anything I can do to help? Yes. Be quiet and try not to disturb me. Thing you remember I remember a hill a battle I had orders for a unit I remember a sorceress her hair like flames she cast a spell the right flank was to attack hit the shield bearers the right flank didn't attack and the sorceress was lit a nade known also as coral I was there too this this happened long ago. She said it. You're exhausted. Always happens with compression. Get some rest. Yes, I should. Once you've recovered a bit, you should find Ambassador Varatra. He's sure to help. Good luck. That was interesting. And exhausting. Oh, to fall onto a feather bed and sleep till... Well, till I woke.
of the day gone to shit. Tossing, tossing! On me, Dan Venn. They told me avoid doing business with woven scum. Stunted bricks always cheat. But uh, it was you let the beast in there. Because me bales of sulk are driving you mad with jealousy. Shove your bales up your ass. Shut it, or I'll lock you both up. Witcher Geralt. Get in here. Boss awaits upstairs. Will you bloody tell us what this is about? Just as soon as Geralt arrives. Should he arrive. You won't plow it talk. The least you can do is pour around. Bloody suspense has made my throat dry. Witcher, at last. Now, we're all present. Then up the fucking creek. Why have you summoned us? Radovid's on his ship. We'll not get to him there, I've told you. Stop it! I have an idea how to draw him onto dry land. But all in due course. Let's start by confessing our sins. I let Philippa Eilhart in on our plan. Mea culpa. Bravo. Bloody bravo. Now, now. It's not a disaster. The Lady Sorceress is highly unlikely to warn the brat. What's more, she's willing to help us kill him. Naturally, it's nothing I'll ever agree to. But Phil, she's inspired me. Call her my muse. Inspired you to do what? Patience. We've yet to get to the substance of the matter. Geralt, do I recall correctly that Radovid's hired you to find Philippa? Mm-hmm. Only thing I've found is her hideout. What's your point? We can use Philippa without involving her, provided you help. Radovid expects you to report to him, bring him information about her. All you need to do is mention her name, intimate that you've a lead, you're on her trail. Oh, he'll swallow that. Hook, line, sinker, and a good bit of the rod as well. Let's say Radovid bites, believes me, and none of that's a given. What then? 
You tell him you've found Philippa's hideout. Somewhere where we can easily set a trap and ambush. Suggestions? Bridge to Temple Isle. Built up both sides. Lots of nooks, gates. Easy to block off from the rest of the city. Good idea. I'll divide my men. Post half on one end, other half on the other, by the gate. And in the middle, Vess, with a well-oiled crossbow. You see, Geralt, all we ask is that you invite Radovid out for a stroll, bring him to the bridge. We'll take care of the rest. So what'll it be? I'm in. But once it's done, what then? There'll be an uproar in the city. Panic, maybe. Need a place where we can wait it out. Thought of that already. Remember Madame Arena's theatre? Abandoned now, not a soul looks in there. Tala and I will await you there. Await us? Unwilling to risk your own necks? Not the point. Deeksra and I have many cocksucking virtues, but fighting ability is just not one of them. Not as fit for that as we are for a bleeding beauty pageant. Don't worry, Geralt. My people are battle-hardened. They'll manage. You just bring them the kid. Do what I can. Where's his ship moored these days? Just round the corner, in Novograd's port. And for your sake, I hope he's in a good mood when you look in on him. The bridge must be clear. My lads will make sure of that. Guards round the temple, what about them? Won't they bloody congregate when they see the fighting? If they're paid a tidy sum, they won't. <clears throat> Philippa? What the hell are you doing here? Geralt, don't ask questions you know the answers to. It makes you look stupid. Eve's dropping on your conversation, naturally. With a good deal of interest. And a measure of wonder. Mind telling me what you found puzzling? Your naivety. Do you honestly believe Radovid will fall for such a crude ruse? Radovid's lost his mind. Doesn't think rationally anymore. That's why. That is why he may very well choose to torture you, even if you brought me to him in chains. Just because. Philippa, why even tell me this? Concerned about me that much? Not at all. It's because I think it vital that Radovid die. You don't want my help, more's the pity. But I shall do what I can to make certain you don't fuck it up. Here, take this. A ring. Redanian eagle etched in the ruby. It belonged to Vizimir, Radovid's father. Hand him that, and he may believe you captured me. He might even choose to trust you. Helpful. Thanks. Don't mention it. Believe me, I'm prepared to do much more to be rid of Radovid. Good luck, Geralt. You'll need it.
Witcher Geralt. What do you want? information about Philippa Eilhart. I'll need your weapons. Now follow me. Your Majesty, the Witcher, with news of Philippa Eilhart. I hope you brought something better than magic crystals this time. I know where she is. Perhaps. Or perhaps you seek to trick me, like the others. What others? Uh, you see, a rumor went around that I'd generously reward any who bring information about Isleheart. There's no shortage of the greedy and the stupid, so a queue quickly formed at the gangway to the ship. The first aboard was a hunter. Brought me a dead owl with no eyes. He thought I'd believe it, shower him with gold. I had him blinded then thrown overboard with a stone tied round his neck. The second was the postmaster from Oxenfurt, claimed to have a letter she'd penned. It was forged, of course. I had his fingers cut off. He'll never write again. Oh, and I took his tongue. The spoken lie is just as reprehensible. Needless to say, the rest of the queue dispersed quickly. I'm a professional. Got a reputation to uphold. Be stupid of me to come to you empty-handed. My father's ring. Philippa used it to stamp her decrees, then distribute them as the word of the king. Where is she? Under your nose, sire. In Novigrad, in a house on the bridge leading to Temple Isle. Why haven't you brought her to me? Gotta capture someone to take them anywhere. All I did was track her down, then stole this ring as proof that I had. Do you fear her? No. You want to kill her yourself. With your own hands. I know this. You shall come with me. Hubrecht, gather the men. How many, sire? All of them. Well, where is she? Where is Philippa? Like I said, house on the bridge, closer to the other end. Close off this end. We need no guests, no innocent bystanders, or witnesses. Damian, Duke, Egbert, Freak, Kaspar. You shall stay here, secure the rear, and kill the Witcher. You don't know where Philippa's hiding. Not exactly without me. Fret not. We'll manage. Naturally, it would be easier with your help, but you irritate me. You know too much. 
you impede me too often. And I find your arrogance an annoyance. I've had men killed for less. Follow me. Any last words? Oh, fuck! Free the Witcher, then run of it. Hang on, girl. What are we? Try to get round it. Open up! I command you to open the door! You needed merely to ask. That settles the score. And that was from the heart. Forgive me. I could not deny myself the pleasure. How did she... Where? Why? How the fuck? Eve's dropped on us, back at the warehouse. What? And you didn't think it worth mentioning? Lads, the time to discuss this is later. Radovid is dead. It matters not by whose hand. Mission accomplished. Now let's get the hell away. Place will be thick with Redanians in minutes. Let's go. Done? It's done. Though all did not go according to plan. More on that later. First, a stiff drink and a toast. The North. Temeria. Temeria! Bloody Temeria! Temeria. What now, Roach? A new guerrilla campaign against the Black Ones? No. The war just ended. 
How's that? There's something I don't know about? I'd say so. You see, tomorrow at noon, the commander of Army Group Center will sign a truce in Amir's name. A truce whose wording we agreed with Dijkstra. So back there in Velen, when the trolls nabbed you? Yes. I was returning from the last round of talks. Amir will keep Edion and Lyria, but in exchange for Radovich Ed and a stop to guerrilla activities, he will withdraw from Temeria, which will become the Empire's vassal state. Self-ruled internally, with its own courts, administrative structures and armies. The silver lilies will bloom neath the rays of the great sun. So I say were I a poet. But I'm not, so all I'll say is there was no other fucking way. Haven't told me the whole truth. You're right on that account. We know you're bloody allergic to politics, decided to emphasize mages and whatnot. If it were done when tis done, then twere well it were done quickly. That but this blow might be the be-all and end-all here. What's that? Vakmeth, Act 1, Scene 7. Always wanted to play that. Never cast as anything but a halberdier. Geralt, what Tala told you, put it out of your mind. There will be no truce with Nilfgaard. Redania, under my enlightened rule, will fight on until it wins. And when it does, it will unite all the North, including Temeria. What? Ow! This is not what we plow and agreed. True. Instead, we insisted on one realm's questionable sovereignty. And to recover it, we gave Amir virtually all the North's other kingdoms. It was not a wise arrangement. So, no deal. You two-faced horseman. I will not allow this. Actually, you, Roach, should be the first to understand I've no choice. Why the hell would I understand? Because you too are a patriot. Geralt, this doesn't concern you. You may go. Fare thee well on your path, or what not. Can't let you kill them, Dijkstra. Oh, hard luck. Then you'll die with them. Kill them all. Come on. Bloody hell! Bugger me sideways! That was close. Very close. It's hardly over. The envoy, due to meet the Nilf Guardians tomorrow. No doubt Dijkstra ordered him killed. We'll need to protect him. Sorry, you're on your own, I've... You've had your fill of politics, I understand. Once it's over, come to Vizima. You'll be received with honors. Farewell, Wolf.
Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. The Elven Sage decided to erode the King of the Hunt's support in his own realm. With Geralt in tow, he ventured through other worlds to the city of Ternalia. There they found Aradin's viceroy, Gels. Gels had been a loyal subject of the Alder Folk's previous king. When he learned Aradin was a regicide, he agreed to help defeat the usurper. What is it? I got a job for you. There's no point standing here in the rain. All right, let's go to mine. We'll talk there. So what's the matter? You see that knoll beyond the village? Weren't a thing there for centuries. Till one day we awoke, bam! There were a tower atop it. And all of a sudden, lightning started pounding down. As if the Nargo Fair itself was sailing in. Hasn't stopped to this day. Something's got to be done. About the storm. With waves like that, we can't fish nor sail out to raid. You tried getting inside the tower? Have we tried? Very same morning the tower appeared. We went right off. Whole village or near boats. Folk wanted to welcome its owner if he came in peace. Drive him off if he came with ill intent. We knocked and banged, but no one answered. So we opened the door. And that's when our knees turned to jelly. Why? Because beyond that door was something like a sheet of water, but standing upright. Never seen such a thing in my life. Druid said it was magic. Gathered five brave lads and they all marched in. No sign of him since. Fine. I'll look into the tower. Once you're in, cast your eye around for the folk from our village. Our druid and five good lads. Oh, I'd be a bitter shame to lose them. You have my word. Hemdel, guide you.
her from the outside. Someone's come to free me. And a famous witcher at that. Thank the gods. I'm damned lucky you happen to be in Kovia. Was it King Tancred who sent you? Or the Society of Magic? Neither. And we're not in Kavir. We're in Skellige. Local folk hired me. See, your towers brought a massive storm to their island. We're in... In Skellige. So we've teleported. Oh, this is much worse than I thought. Let me guess. You lost control of the golem. Imprisoned you here, then attacked me. My, no. That's not it at all. The golems are but one of the tower's defenses. Part of its defensive regulatory magic on. What? A defensive system. Magic. Ensuring only the tower's owner will use it. When it detects an intruder, it locks down all the rooms, denies access. And since neither of us is the tower's owner, the golem attacked me and you're stuck behind bars. How do we evade its other charming features? We must deactivate the defensive regulatory magic on. The tower's prior owner wrote a treatise about removing such defenses. Gottfried's omni-opening grimoire. There must be a copy in the tower. Find it, please. With it in hand, I can try to circumvent the security measures. Send you home and take the tower back to Kavir. Seen my share of wonders, but a tower that teleports itself? That's something new. This defensive regulatory magic on. I tried to access it. Must have heard. Initiated some evacuation sequence. That opened the portal and jettisoned us through to Skellige. This, in turn, naturally generated electromagnetic disturbances. Hence the storm. The storm I promised to dispel. Then you must find Gottfried's omni-opening grimoire. Some folk from the village came in here, right? Their remains lie beside the golem. They came in a few days past. I was surprised to see their garb, but it just never entered my mind we might be in Skellige. There were just a few, led by a druid. The tower warned them. They failed to heed. Folk on On Skellig usually laugh in the face of warnings. If the tower had asked nicely, then offered them a horn of mead, they might have left then. You clearly know who I am. I don't even know your name. Seagull Bunce. Mage and sorcerer in residence at the court of Pompvanis. This tower was to be my new home. Bought it at an auction, you see. A tower at an auction? It belonged to Gottfried Stamfeld, a mage of some renown. When he passed on, his heirs auctioned the edifice off. They were all wary, repulsed, 
none dared see what Uncle Godfrey kept in his coloured jars. If it was their contents that had stripped him of his sense of smell and taken his left eye, they put the tower on the block, along with all it contained. The price was unbeatable. I couldn't resist. Right. Time to get out of here and send this tower home. Where do I look for Gottfried's treaties? Any ideas? Hmm. The library might be a logical place to start. The key should be in the laboratory. Where's that? As you enter the room opposite, you'll see the laboratory to your left. The library straight ahead. But remember, you're an intruder. The tower is certain to want to stop you. Make things difficult at the least. We'll see who breaks first. Try to smash that barrier. Was by you, Uperin Advikiat. Colin probably greeted them too. Intruder in tower. Aqueous countermeasures in effect.
aqui. Alchemy for Household Dilemmas, Volume 3. This isn't it. Who's who among Kaviri sorcerers? Looks like he's suffocated. Horrible way to die. Applied Golemancy. Gotta keep looking. Intersections and geomantic lines. Not what I'm looking for. Intruder in library. Collection integrity compromised. Gottfried's Omni opening grimoire. This is it.
Find the tomb. This it? It is indeed. Now, back away a bit. I must deactivate the barrier. On by you, if I need to the What's the reason for Disturbing indications of freedom. There, at last. Looked easy. The hardest part is yet to come. We must reach the heart of the tower and cast a deactivating spell. The tower will surely do everything in its power to stop us. Lead the way. Let's go to the central chamber. Try to power down the security measures. The defensive regulatory magic.
Gottfried's treaties proved highly useful. It's over. Had you not arrived, I'd still be in that cage, surely. It's a trifle, but take it, please. Proof of me gratitude. Thanks. Though I'd be more than satisfied if you calmed that storm, then took this tower somewhere else. Consider it done. And should you ever visit Kavir, do stop by Pompvanis. Aburagi, Barathea. Wait, what are you doing? You're alive, and in one piece. One soaking wet piece. Will you teach me to fly? Another time, maybe. Never seen such marvels in me life. Boom, flash. Tower disappeared, and you was fallen from the sky. And the storm. Gone in an instant. Now, didn't I tell you? It's what of which we needed. Hey, can't do better than an expert. And expert work deserves a fit and reward. Always knew one Skelligers were honest folk. Hey, well, if you ever come through here again, stop him. He'll be welcomed with open arms. Thanks. Farewell. Wait, Witcher. Did you happen to see me brother in there? Horn's his name. He went in with the druid and a few other lads. I found your friends. All dead, unfortunately. Sorry. Told him not to go. But he wanted glory. Ah. Let's go home, Njal. No point standing here. Farewell, Witcher. Thanks again for helping. Grinding her teeth. <laughs> Means wars a brewing. Tank a shot on our swords. With Brand dead, who will lead you? Don't need a kink to stick it to the black ones. No reason to wait. Show me what you have in stock.
Wagon. Need to look around. Must be the comrade of the fellow from Pharaoh. Hmm. Odd. Looks like he died of old age, not because a necker ripped him apart. Gash is like claw marks in its flanks, but it's also got lockjaw and a warped spine, like it might have died of tetanus. That was no accident. Better investigate. Furrow looks fresh. Boulder must have rolled through here. Started here. I think I see some tracks. A necker. Must have waded through mud before arriving here.
A necker's foot, hollowed out inside like a boot. Someone lost it while running. The plot thickens. Necker paw and a human foot, small like a child's, clearly running. here. <laughs> Who would think to hang drawings in a place like this? Looks like the work of a child, or someone who's damned clumsy with a quill. <laughs> Two sticks protruding above the shoulder. Think that might be me. Is that a wagon? And here's where that boulder almost crushed me. Necker tracks near the boulder. Now I know where they came from. Just wonder who actually left them. These balls on sticks are Endragas. Guess they were supposed to finish me off. All in all, a pretty elaborate plan. And this must be the meeting place. Huh. Looks like this whole ambush was a group effort. High time I met the pranksters. A necker. Torn apart by something huge. Then someone cut its legs off. Must be the place. You can come out. I've seen your plan. Besides, I can hear you. One of you's wheezing like a broken bellows. Another's panting frantically like a deer caught in a trap. And the third should really take something for that throat. I'd try time extract. Someone care to explain what's going on here? What's going on is that you're done there, a wear up here. That's a situation I can fix quickly. Glitchy thingy, no dum dum. The pounding glitchy thingy, swoop man. That's right. We've caught you. You're at our mercy now, and we're none too merciful. Oh really? Fact is, I could just turn around and blow it out. Glitchy thingy, gum gum, shocking. Wolf, wolf, man. 
I wonder why he's not already in the shrimp. You were to kill him. <sighs> what? We never said nothing about killing. Not a thing. We were just supposed to scare him. So witchy thingy us scary thingies. Make him no touch us. I believe you misunderstood. <sighs> He's a murderer. Like the rest of them. Like the one who killed my Adalia. <clears throat> Awful sorry about your wench. We all are. A doppler. But this witcher didn't kill her. And we can't very well punish him for another's crime. He has much to answer for, too. <sighs> I heard he killed a Korrid in Tucson. But he spared a golden dragon. So what? What about Verena? The Bruxa with the fondness for blue roses from Nazaire. He showed her no mercy. <sighs> Arena killed many an innocent. I had to do something, but I've helped monsters aplenty. Yes? Who? Salma, a succubus in Novigrad. Let her go free, even though I knew she'd killed some guardsmen. You mean, even when you know a monster's killed someone, you don't hurt them? If it had good reason. Yeah, sometimes. Don't make me laugh. That's not nearly enough. <sighs> I spared the troll named Whamawam, though I knew he'd killed some miners. Holy no! Meg. Yum a yum elfy swoop. And uh yum a yum sissy swoop. You see? He's not that bad. We should let him go. Let him go? No! So he can track us down and butcher us? I won't hurt you. I don't kill sentient creatures. You lie. Every witcher is a murderer. <sighs> I kill monsters, true. It's my job. But only when they threaten humans. You hate us! Hate us all! Humans hate you all. Because they don't know you. Don't know which of you are dangerous and which want to live in peace. Only witchers stand between you and humans. We know both worlds. Protect both. We kill dangerous monsters so the thinking ones can live in peace. So you say now, as you stand there, scared. You know we have the upper hand. Ha, ha, ha. You don't. Could have killed you all long ago if I'd wanted to. I believe him. We should let him be. I'm all for it. To my thinking, he's telling the truth. Let witchy thingy go. Ah, fools! Gullible as newborns! A just witcher! A kind witcher! A lying witcher! He fiends it all! All humans lie! Let it rest! This is not the way! You shan't bring Adalia back! Ah! Stay here! I'll finish this alone!
You were right. Monsters are like men. Some are good, some are bad, and still others simply lost. It's a right shame. I was different once. Should never have let him talk us into this. Here, a little something from us, so you'll remember not all monsters are dangerous. Thanks.
Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. The Elven Sage decided to erode the King of the Hunt support in his own realm. With Geralt in tow, he ventured through other worlds to the city of Tirnalia. There they found Aradin's viceroy, Gels. Gels had been a loyal subject of the Alder Folk's previous king. When he learned Aradin was a regicide, he agreed to help defeat the usurper. A Witcher, and not a second too soon. Understand you have a contract for me. Oi, it's my brother Mikkel. Been a week now since he took the women of Bellows into the hills. The women of Bellows? Bellows were a rich village, till the war passed through. Huts were burned down, larders cleared out, all the menfolk conscripted. Women were left to fend for themselves, without food nor shelter. No one wanted them. Redanians wouldn't let him into Novigrad, so Mikkel took him to the old mines, get him out of the rain at least. And I've not had word from him since. All right, I'll look for your brother. How will I recognize him? Shouldn't be hard. He was the only lad in a group of women. Corpses aren't always in a condition where I can determine the sex. Corpses? Take it back. They got lost is all. But if worse comes to worst, well, he had calfskin ankle boots, work of master clogs. Told him not to wear him into the hills, he'd only ruin him. But he was so proud of him. Think I know enough. Thanks.
takes strength to do something like this. Monster tracks. They're dead. Avenge them, Witcher. Kill the beast. Please. I I've nothing to pay you with. But Mikkel, the one who brought us here, his brother's got coin, he'll reward you. Look for him at the inn at the crossroads.
digestive juices. Food for its young. Ericus, a venomous one. mark all that's left of the body putting yourself to the sword all the better
proof of what happened. Hold on! Melvin burial ground in the cabins near about to move on. Used to be wagon shoot on market days. Greetings. I have bad news. And Eric has killed your brother. If it's any comfort, I avenged him. Comfort? Huh. Of course it's no comfort. And I told Mickle, why are you so eager to help strangers? Sit your arse down, or there'll be misfortune. Well, why are you still standing there? Can't get your fill of others' misfortune. No, I prefer porridge and gravy like everybody else. Pay me and I'll go buy some. I'd have paid you if you brought Mickle back alive. Your brother was a better man. So long.
Traveling. <laughs> 